Alright, so this is my review of the Reds Baby Jive 5 pram. Um, I really found that buying a pram, at least in Australia, I don't know what other countries are like, I found buying a pram new a really difficult process because I assumed when I went to go buy my pram that there was like a showroom, a storefront, something, a place where you could try a majority or at least a wide range of the prams that are available in this country side by side, taking your time, trying it out, because it, it really is one of those things that you have to kind of play around with and, and, and check out and, and move yourself to see if it's right for you. Um, and I was kind of disappointed to find that places like Bay, Baby Bunting that have like a pram showroom didn't have nearly as many uh, brands of models, sorry, brands of prams available um, as I thought it would. Um, and so you sort of have to jump online and rely on um, like sort of anecdotal stories and recommendations that people make online about certain prams or if you're lucky and you know people who already own prams, um, get recommendations from them. Um, and that's how I found about the Reds Baby. Someone on YouTube mentioned that this um, Aussie brand of pram was available here. I'd never heard of it because it wasn't in the baby bunting showroom. And even then, I found it really difficult to, to try this pram out because from what I understand as of now, um, Red's Baby don't have like a permanent um, storefront or showroom where you can try it out. Um, you have to go to baby expos essentially and go to their store when they're there to try these prams out for yourself. And that's what I did um, in 2022. I went to the One Fine Baby Expo in Melbourne um, and I tried Red's Baby out as well, a whole bunch of different prams as well. But even then it was tricky, you know, like they're all in like separate stalls, they're not side by side. There were so many people. I had to essentially swim through throngs of people to even get a look in at this pram. Um, and yeah, I was interested in the Red's Baby prams, but I found it, I found them to be quite elusive. Like I liked what I saw at the expo, what I did see briefly. But then when I went online to try and find a video like this of someone who's maybe bought one, used it for a while and could kind of go through the pros and cons of, of how they found using it, I couldn't find any videos like this. I kept seeing on lots of different forums and due date groups, Reddit threads, people kept mentioning these prams and how much they loved them, but I couldn't find people talking about how they went using it. Um, so I, I thought, oh man, I'm going to take a gamble. I think this is a good pram from what I've read. I like the idea of it. Um, it was really scary buying a big ticket item without truly getting a really good feel for how it worked before I bought it but I bit the bullet I did it and I'm actually really happy with it um so that's lucky <laughs> for me but I would have really appreciated a video like this where someone went through some of the pros and cons after using it for a while um so this is me I guess trying to put some content out there that might help someone um figure out if this pram is right for them so I'll go through some of the things I really liked first and then we'll go through, through some of the things I just picked up on that eh, maybe weren't like right for me or maybe could be improved or just things to think about, I suppose. Um, okay, so I think one of the best features of this pram, and you've probably already know this already if you've looked into the Red's Baby um, pram, is that it folds down into one piece, right? So instead of having to take like the seat component off, um, put that in the car and then separately fold down the pram and put that into the car and then like reassemble it again when you get it out. It just pops down and pops up. Um, and yeah, it's, I, I won't demonstrate it because you can, you can look at the demonstrations on their website. There's like a dude in a video who does it, but um, yeah, it's, it's great. It's great. And um, Red's Baby isn't the only pram that does that, but it's um, certainly not like a feature across all prams. Um, and it is just wonderful <laughs> uh, having it just pop up and being like a no fuss, no um, situation. Um, so the Reds Baby team um, have said that this particular model, so this is, again, the Reds Baby Jai 5, um, the frame of it is quite light considering it's 
a bit more of a heavy duty pram. This is the pram that has the capacity to hold two seats or one of their models that has the capacity to hold two seats. Um, but despite that, despite it having the capacity to do that, it's only 7.5 kilos. So um, it's relatively easy, I have found personally, um, to fold it down and take it in and out of the car. Um, like even, you know, taking it into the bedroom today was really um, not an issue at all. I just folded it down, picked it up, took it through the kitchen and into the room. Um, so yeah, that, that's made like solo trips for me with bubs um, a lot easier. Um, some more, uh, more niche things I picked up on after about 12 months of using this is that it travels really well on a plane. And that wasn't something I had initially thought about, but was um, really pleased uh, at the experience I had with moving interstate and having to put this on an aeroplane. Not, um, it didn't come onto the plane with us, it's too big for that, but it went into the oversized luggage compartment area. And what I did was I bought, um, like it's literally called a pram bag from Amazon. It wasn't very expensive. Um, I, can, I can link people to which one I bought um, if people are interested. Um, but I bought that. And then I folded this down, took the seat off. So the seat I took off separately, folded the frame down. I then took off the wheels the front wheels, which are super easy to take off. They just have this like button component that you press down and pull. See, uh, wheels come off, put those in separately and had absolutely no issues putting that on a plane. In fact, there was so much room in the pram bag that I bought that I was also able to put in her bouncer and like a whole bunch of other things. Um, and all of that zipped up beautifully and went straight onto the plane um, through the luggage. So that was, that was like a, a nice surprise that I know some people have had issues with how bulky um, a double seater pram can be um, and that getting it onto a plane can be a little bit of a kerfuffle, um, but had absolutely no issues whatsoever with this one. I also was really pleasantly surprised at how easy this pram is. Again, slightly more heavy duty than, for example, a sort of like a little metro city pram that's smaller and compact and like designed to get into shops and cafes. I was a bit concerned that this would be quite bulky um, in comparison and that I might had trouble getting into shops and like you know getting through aisles and like parking it up against like cafe tables and things like that but i have found this um pram to be like surprisingly easy to maneuver um the turning circle it has i can't really demonstrate it because there's not enough room here um but it has a really really impressive turning circle you can pretty much turn it 360 from a stationary position with one hand um, if I have bubs in one hand and need to turn it a right, the pram right round, super, super easy to do that. Um, so that's been a really nice surprise, the fact, despite the fact it's a little bit bigger than, um, for example, the Reds Baby Metro have had no issues, you know, living in, living a, a city lifestyle and going to shops and cafes quite a bit. Um, so I really, really like the canopy. Um, so the canopy is this part here. Yep. Yeah. Um, canopy that comes right over. I did find with some models of prams, um, the canopy kind of stopped maybe here. And um, it, it just means that w when the sun is at certain angles, um, baby is going to be exposed to more sunlight. Um, and, and that's know a safety concern just because of direct sun exposure but also just it gets in their eyes and it like annoys them so the fact that this comes right over has been really helpful um the reds baby canopies um are upf 50 plus um material so if you don't know what that means just quickly um you know like with sunscreen you have spf um, which is the rating of like how well that cream is 
how efficient that cream is at blocking the UV rays that go onto your skin, right? So like SPF 50 plus sunscreen is like the most efficient sunscreen at blocking UV rays, right? So UPF refers to how effective a piece of material is at blocking UV rays. And UPF 50 plus is the most effective um, UV blocker for material. So when you're looking for things that help block sun, for example, kids hats or swimwear or canopies on prams, um, if you ever see that the material is UPF 50 plus, that's a really good sign that it's going to give you a really good level of um, coverage. Living in Australia, particularly in um, Queensland, it's very sunny here, <laughs> very hot, and there is a really big culture of being outside. Um, and so having something, buying items that help protect my bub from direct sun exposure is, is really, really important to me, particularly because we know that there are studies that have found a correlation between lots of direct sunlight in the first 12 months in particular and developing skin cancers later on in life. So that's just um, something to be mindful of. And this being an Australian designed pram um, really showcases itself with a canopy like this because they've really thought about um, sun exposure here. Yeah, so I, I love love that, um, and I have to admit, it's the the water lining component inside the canopy is also very good. So as I, I said, I live in Queensland, so this is a subtropical climate, and um, we get pretty big downpours of rain sometimes. Um, the other week, I got caught out in a rain downpour. I do have like the rain cover for this, but I didn't have it on me at the time. Got caught out absolutely drenched in about 20 seconds and I had the canopy down like this got to the cafe I was walking to and was really pleased to see that the water had actually pooled at the top of that canopy onto the material but it was not soaking in at all even though it was drenched like there was water pooling at the top and all I did was go and sort of smack the water off and it all just kind of came off um, none of it had seeped into the pram. My baby was completely dry on the inside. Like her legs got a little bit wet because <laughs> uh, her legs were sticking out. But the inside of the canopy, absolutely not one drop. And that has happened multiple times over the past 12 months. So um, yeah, very impressed with like the canopy's like, ability to kind of withstand sun and rain. Um, I also really love the vent feature at the back here so there's like a zip that comes down um i'll make another video where i go through and zoom in on, on certain things of this pram um, but the vent has been fantastic again subtropical climate um pram can get very very hot and this thing is an ascent has become quite essential in making sure that i'm ventilating and and keeping that pram space cool particularly when she's sleeping um what else what else um, pretty easy to clean. Um, I got the uh, Red's Baby like seat liner, which is this beautiful plush soft material, um, and I found it to be super easy to clean. So even like um, just like superficial things that just need to be wiped off. The material is such that it's like really beautiful and plush and kind of silky feeling but things kind of just wipe right off it. And then when it does need to be washed, super easy to do that and it dries quickly as well. So that's awesome. Um, I like the overall functionality of the pram. I did have a little bit of issue in the beginning getting used to the actual mechanism. So I'll talk about that in a moment, but generally really happy with, um, with all the kind of like thoughtful little features. Um, everything feels kind of like very, very secure, um, like very well made. Nothing feels very flimsy, like even like the little button you click to have um, this like little handlebar come off and the way that it clicks in feels really satisfying. Um, the buckle system, you know, you, you buy a point buckle system that you just 
click one button and it all pops out and you can get baby out like it's it, yeah it's good i like it and i finally the configuration is really cool so i love the fact that it was super easy to take this pram seat off and have baby facing towards me when she was younger then have her facing out um yeah brilliant the bassinet which i don't have here at the moment unfortunately it's in storage but bassinet again super easy to take on and off um like it, the the frame of the bassinet was so lightweight and my baby was so comfortable in the bassinet that for example when i rocked up to mum groups i would park the pram click the bassinet off with her in it just put pop her in the grass and she would just like play in the bassinet um like it was great so the different like seat and bassinet features are great i don't have any experience using this as a double with the seat underneath because i don't have two kids so when that happens <laughs> i'll let you know all right let's look at some of the things now i didn't love as much so the wheels um one of the criticisms of the old models of the jive was that the wheels weren't very good at going off-road. So totally fine on like concrete tiles, that sort of thing. But as soon as you had to go onto any kind of uneven terrain, um, the pram really struggled. I would say that compared to other models I've tried, for example, like the Upper Baby Vista, um, it, it isn't as smooth running off-terrain um, as some of the really high-end models. Um, Silver Cross is another one that comes to mind. Their wheel design is really impressive. It can go on sand, um, some of their models. So, it, yeah, certainly not as smooth going on things like grass. Um, but also, fine. <laughs> um, I don't have the need to go off, off pathways very often where I live. Um, I'm often on, like, pathways or roads or, or like in a shopping center or do you know what I mean like I'm not having to go on dirt paths for example if you are um and the kind of smooth functionality of being able to go off road and still like comfortably steer the pram with one hand really smoothly that kind of thing if that's really important to you maybe look into a different model because I think there are probably models that um offer a smoother smoother ride off terrain um but I, honestly I it, was not a deal breaker for me in any way totally fine like if i had my time again i would still buy this pram right um okay one of the big negatives um it's a very like a uh, well-known criticism i suppose is the basket so this is the basket here now you'll see that on a lot of different models of prams the basket is much bigger like the sides of the basket component come up um, much higher so it's deeper and this one, it has been improved um, from previous models. So it is a little bit more, um, like the material kind of folds out more to sort of allow for more room for holding things. But it's still a lot smaller, I'd have to say, than a lot of prams I've seen. Probably most prams I've noticed have a, a, a larger storage basket. And the really big criticism is that when this turns into a double seater, the second seat essentially sits in this basket part so you lose the storage component that's something to think about because if you're using that storage component a lot um, that might be really annoying for you um, in saying that there are ways to get around losing the storage component of the pram so um, for example I bought um, some hooks that I can put onto the top part of the pram and I can hang my shopping off the pram. I've actually found that having this, <laughs> having the drink holder here um, has been awesome because I actually hang, I'm sure you're not supposed to, but I hang shopping from this all the time um, and it it's totally fine and holds up really well. So whatever. And any little bits and pieces that I wanna kind of put somewhere when I'm out and about just goes in my pram caddy. By the way it's not the reds baby pram caddy um it's a different one but yeah so look would it be nice to have a large storage basket yeah am i like not super looking forward to potentially losing it all together um when you know second baby uh potentially arrives yeah but again for me because there are ways around it it's not a deal breaker 
Um, learning to use the mechanisms. So, as I said before, like once once I got used to how to fold the frame down, adjust things to how I like it. Once I got used to all those mechanisms, it was great, amazing, love it. Fits seamlessly into my life, um, and has just become <clears throat> has just become something I don't even have to think about. Right. I get to the shops, I pop it out, I'm walking in, I'm adjusting the handlebars as I go, no problems. However, it wasn't like that from the start. I really kind of struggled with the actual like physical mechanisms and how to kind of like adjust things for the first couple of months. And it wasn't just me. Um, my partner had a bit of trouble. Um, members of my family who would use the pram had some trouble in the beginning as well. And after looking at um, some uh some written reviews and a couple of the video reviews i've seen of um a slightly different model of jive there are other people who've struggled as well um in particular adjusting the top handlebar here um making it longer that mechanism felt really clunky and for a while i was actually not sure if perhaps there was something wrong with it and i actually deliberated whether to like uh, send Red's baby message and then when I saw online people were having issues I guess I, did, I just practiced it and then after a while I got it so it seems as though I I don't know if it's that it took me a while to actually kind of get hang of the movement to kind of change the mechanisms or if the actual physical components had to like loosen or if it's a bit of both I'm not really sure what happened there um but it, it took a while. So for, let me, I'll try and show you now this handlebar part. All right. So this bit here comes out. Now you can see after 12 months, it's still not, like I'm still not able to seamlessly glide that up and down. It's not a problem. It's fine. I'm used to it now. But like you can see there, it was a little bit clunky still, and I've been using it for a year. Um, that's probably the main one. Um, I've actually folding the frame down, I think was just took a bit of practice getting used to, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that mechanism. Um, but yeah, a couple of things that I had to adjust took a while. So that was just... Just something to note, I guess, that if it seems a little bit clunky at first, just know that, like, you do get used to it. Um, I guess the other thing to think about, and this is not something I thought about as a first-time mum not really knowing what to look for. I knew I wanted a pram that had the capacity to hold two seats. And I love the fact that this is, like, a very simplistic, light-framed pram, pram that could do that. But when you look at the configurations on their website of where the second seat fits, the configuration of it, if you have a baby, so like the bassinet would go at the top, that's fine. Or you can have a seat like this at the top, that's fine. But the second seat seats in here and they both face forward. So this, this kid is living large, loving their, having great, <laughs> is having the time of their lives is what I'm trying to say this kid though is just like looking at the back of the seat and I don't love that I, I like I said haven't tried it don't know what it's going to be like but I suspect that my kid would not is going to get annoyed by just looking out at the back of the seat and instead of being able to see the world um, so I don't know how that configuration is going to go down if I have two kids. There, I like the upper baby Vista, for example, um, the seat, one seat faces out and the other feet faces out the other way. So they are back to back. That I kind of feel might work a little bit better. Um, 
I would also just like be mindful. I think Red's Baby have another model of pram now that wasn't available when I bought this one, but there is another one that has the capacity to hold two seats. However, that second, the newer one, I think the bassinet has to go on the bottom and the seat has to go on the top when you have like a newborn and an old child. And I don't love that configuration either. I, I think my, when the baby's very little, they kind of want to see you um, when you're steering the pram and you want to see little baby. You want to check that they're okay, that they're not rolling around, that they're sleeping, that whatever. I would not like my newborn to be in the bassinet under and have my older kid on top. So anyway, yeah, the, the configuration, I'm just not sure about yet. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it. Um, overall, I think that for what you pay for with a Red's Baby pram like this and what you get, it's really bang for buck. When you look at um, other prams that um, have similar features, um, perhaps some, some more kind of sleek um, uh, design features than, than the Red's Baby, but similar. When you look at things in the same realm as this kind of pram, you're looking at prams that are much more expensive, right? Red's Baby is just over a grand, brand new, whereas prams that have some of the similar kind of like luxury items, um, like really like beautiful plush handlebars, the really smooth mechanisms, the ability to fold right down, the lightweight frame, the UPF canopy, some of those prams are going to cost twice as much as this one and have the capacity to hold two kids, right? Um, sometimes more than twice the price tag as a Red's Baby. Um, Red's Baby feels like it's a really nice middle ground of having lots of really practical and like luxurious features too, whilst still being within um, a much more uh, accessible price range compared to other brands. Um, I'm not saying this is like, I'm not saying a thousand dollars is like cheap. That's just relative to your financial situation. I'm just saying like for what you get compared to other brands, um, I think, I think it's great. Um, yeah, so hopefully that'll help you make a decision. <laughs>